There is one more thing we need to do before going into the solver, and that is labeling the boundaries using the name selections option. And we cannot click on a boundary in the solver and set the boundary condition. We'll have to use the labels, and that's why this is necessary. I will go, I will say uh, zoom to fit. I will turn off the, I'll go to geometry, turn off the mesh, and I will start giving my name selection. So make sure the edge selection filter is selected. I will select the the boundaries corresponding to the plate and um, by left clicking and then I right click and say create name selection. I'll call that plate. Um, this boundary on the left, I will again click on that. I'll say right click, create name selection. I'll call that far field one. And then this one, I will say create name selection. I'll call that far field two. And this is far field three. And these names are, you know, your choice. I also like to give, a, a, you know, a name or a label to the boundary, um, the, uh, the domain for the boundary value problem. And so I will click on that. I will right click and say create name selection and I'll say BVP, boundary value problem, underscore domain. Uh, that's optional, but it's cleaner if you do that. And then if I come over here in the tree and expand name selections, I'll see all my name selections and I can, you know, click on them in turn to see that I've labeled them correctly or I can hold control shift down and select all of it and check my name selections. And so we will use these, um, these name selections or labels to apply the boundary conditions when we get into the solver next. So I'll just click on geometry here and I will say uh, file, save project, and then I'll close the measure. 